Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another forewarn on Brutal. How's everyone's day going? Hopefully, you guys are all having a awesome day and also being safe out there as well. Um, don't forget, guys, there is a hot fix uh, that came out yesterday. Um, it's kind of regarding more on the zealots on spawnage and you know how close they are and the interaction when you're trying to you know torch them away. Um, so it seems like it kind of is working in some ways because I did kind of do some testing before um, before this actual recording. So, you know, as we kind of progress through this episode, um, we'll kind of get more feedback and more testing uh, regarding that one. So we'll see how that one goes. So, yeah, so pretty much um, with this huge update, uh, there there is a really, really good possibility of doing a solo on Brutal and Medium. Which is really really awesome because of the huge update that they have which i'll leave a link down below in the description as we did a actual recording on you know discussion about you know the huge update to a lot of the gameplay that i did some testing on and it kind of relate to you know what you know um huge changes that you know we are so used to from before so <coughs> all right guys so and don't forget there's gonna be timestamps down below if you guys uh want to skip certain type of um Jai, um parts of this episode you pretty much is there for your convenience all right guys all right so let's get to the grind that's a nice picture like i love the um that new map layout but it's really like pretty much it's really difficult to kind of grasp especially if you're soloing and whatnot because a lot of this it has a lot of no outlet areas so it's like you could easily get lost inside especially if you're doing a like a large map because a lot of it looks so identical to each other and you know sometimes like you know you'd be just kind of doing loops all around and if you're doing on time which you're trying to get more experience and gold bonus it's yeah really really tough um we're kind of we're kind of almost close to the 150 lures which we need i think we need two more uh, lures and then we're about one artifact away so we can prestige again um but as far as gold wise we still need to keep getting more gold because um like i said from my other videos it's really really good to get like at least forty thousand gold just be in the safe side um so you can rebuy your items and re-upgrade everything to max um so it won't be too too hard after right and of course the the actual lures was kind of on your own discretion it is going to be a spoiler um if you are a player that you know really press on time then that's probably for you <laughs> um but yeah usually the lures are kind of kind of being more on the lucky side and if you're playing with other players just don't forget that um you're kind of going off of them so if you need specific lures there's a there's a chance you might get the same ones if you're playing with um other players that's hosting like that up just wait till you turn around because every time I don't I always get backstabbed in the back every freaking damn time 
you know like how they make like they don't see you so you think okay let me just go my other way around right they'll just go ahead and hit you right behind you the flashlight doesn't work when you hold an item another item it usually does work but I don't understand why it doesn't I think they need to kind of relook that because um, it's really really hard to see like what's going on Damn it. Rathals. Ah. Our friend Rathals. come across the relic door yet. There it is. So we're just going to finish up the exploration part because we do need, I think, uh, about 90%. So, and we need the treasury room too, so hopefully we can find them before the timer gets kind of close to the there's a prison. These guys are really irritating, I'm telling you guys. Okay, we kinda ooh, yeah, we kinda press in time, so we might have to find Yeah, we might have to find the the treasure room after. Those mummies awake too. If you have like react, it seems like if you have reanimation as your evidence, like they'll they'll wake up. You gotta watch out. So if you're playing brutal and you're about one shot, like you gotta watch yourself because you're gonna die. 
Especially if you have the snake run running around as well, so it's like you gotta watch out for him too as well. Maybe you should check the f beginning, huh? See if the switch is in there, cause I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes it's always in the beginning, and we end up going like all over the place trying to see. Here it is. I knew it. All right, let's look for the treasure room and. Oh, son of a gun. Can you like buzz off, dude? Uh, let's go this way. That snake room. Oh, get away, snake. There it is. <laughs> it's almost like ever since they added the hidden objectives, like, then if you really, really want the high, you know, experience and gold bonus, it's like you have to do every trap room, do every, pretty much every single thing. Them. Where are you going? Huh? No, I see you. Don't, don't play like I don't. Okay, we need to take a picture of him too. Thank you. Okay, we aren't missing anything. We just got everything. Cool. So yeah, they a lot of good things with the huge updates, um, progression, whatever. And then they added the prestige mold, but I think just the zealots. They will kind of push you to a point that, um. Can actually die before you even figure out what the magi is so you just gotta be careful but like i said go ahead and check out the video um we have like a huge discussion um just looking through all the the notes and whatnot a lot of huge changes so um with that so because we're playing a brutal on medium map um of course our, we're trying to get the highest um e exp bonus so everything actually ma makes a difference. So it's almost a point that it doesn't make sense you um keep leveling because at a point like you're just gonna keep prestiging and once they kind of release the you know I guess a shop or whatever you want to call it for using your prestige points just to do you know to get other things um. Your level just gonna keep going back down to one, so yeah. <laughs> then you gotta re regather all the artifacts, regather all the relics. It's basically up to you at this point. But you know, at the same time, it's you know, there's it's a really you know, I guess a good thing to kind of regather everything besides just doing the same old stuff. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. But for me, you know, just regathering everything is actually nothing wrong with that. 
I just can't wait to see, you know, what would the new Magi look like. So a lot of the brittle if you're doing if you want to attempt the brittle medium just like what i'm doing um there's gonna be some times that you might have to do some evidence gathering in the same time doing some exploration just to kind of get some stuff out of the way um it would help a lot especially in the new map layout so it's actually trying to get used to that Pretty much like uh, one of the keys, because you know we're also used to just doing it up here in the front, but but since we're playing in brutal, you know we don't really have too much time, so just whatever works for you. So sometimes the sound does does not go through just like those, right? So just check just check the your journal cuz sometimes it sometimes it does go through, it just it doesn't it doesn't actually makes that sound. So kind of mentioned about that stuff so Son of a gun. Get away, get away. That one took two hits, but I don't know, it seems like it takes one now. Seems like. Okay, that connects to there. Yes, that connects to one. So let's go this way. Hmm, interesting layout. And this is where we saw the other one. You hear that noise they're pretty much spawned out already so you guys don't hear it which sometimes they it doesn't make a sound then that's what you gotta kind of watch out for because they're they're just running around looking for you okay hold on let me go check out I'm assuming the I'm 
I'm assuming the lore is probably inside the probably the relic chamber. Where are you? Death is all you will find here. Deacon. Mr. Deacon. So I disabled my run. He must have spawned next to me, but or spawned next door. Hmm. I think he knows there. Because I was thinking that he heard the sarcophagus, so. That's usually the case when he runs in like that. But he went straight through the sarcophagus. He went straight for me. That's why I was just kind of like, wait, what? Huh. Okay. That's that's a trip. That was a waste of time. <laughs> a, a lot of times, like, Deacon, you know, it's always good to... If you have the auto, all the run on, just to disable it, just to kind of be safe on that part, but that was weird. I mean, I could see the sarcophagus because it's always a sarcophagus he would always go for because that's what he hears if he spawns next door. So, yeah, that was kind of questionable on that one. Really questionable, but. Oh, oh well. Oh well. Gold. Give me gold. Give me gold. Cheating again. That's what Deacon is doing. He's cheating. Okay, I guess 20 gold is... Oh, so it's the new map layout. They also... <coughs> Sorry. They also adjusted the... The gravity. So before you could actually just drop down below really fast oh you can't they, i mean you still drop down decently fast but they they, they kind of adjusted the the fall and these are loops Give me Deacon again. That bastard. Damn cheater.
So I'm kind of getting the the hang of this new map layout. Um, like I said, I'll once I do get more familiar, familiar. <laughs> I talk to it. Uh, with the this layout, then I'll do a video on how to navigate it, just to kind of give you my way of kind of remembering how to maneuver through it. Um, because I know it kind of helps, you know, on how I kind of see things. Eat it. Now we go through this way. Lining up your way through here is actually helpful too, because at least it kind of tells you that you've been here before. So, because like I said, a lot of these areas are so repetitive that you kind of don't light up these porch areas, then it'll just look so identical to the other identical rooms that you'll just probably get lost, just like how I to figure it out before so it kind of helps in some ways hey damn it this should be the connecting room right here yep Because right now we're at four minutes and we still haven't finished. Oh god, no. That trap room sucks. If you're playing on Brutal, like... Good luck with that, because... Because you can, you, you can guarantee you're gonna die in there. That trap room really sucks. I say out of out of all the other brand new dart rooms, whatever that, that was, that one's pretty much the hardest. Like I really don't really like that one. I think some of the suggestions that I were kind of saying was to widen the widen the the walkway in there because. Because it's really, really s small and short that... Because what happens is when you're... When you're actually trying to maneuver... The best way to kind of know... Um... Oh, two first, okay. The best way to kind of know... Oh, shit, we gotta hurry up because we're almost... I don't know if we can make it. 30 seconds you know where to go is watching the darts but at the same time you're not looking down you're actually you're too busy looking at the darts on your timing on when they shoot so a lot of times you your character naturally naturally angles itself when you're sidestepping but what happens is like you gotta do one step, one step, one step. Just to... Um, just to maneuver through there, just to get the, the gold and whatnot. But after that, you still gotta... Um, you still gotta walk back to get out of there. So... If you're playing brutal, that's pretty much like, if you get hit, like two times and whatever you pretty much kind of you're gonna die because 
you got the Z that's running around. I mean, if you're in that one map layout with the snake, the snake will be just going all over the place without you, you know, knowing. So I think I like I like the idea of that new trap room. It's just I think they need to widen the maybe a little bit widen the actual walkway. It'll be a little bit more easier to walk walk through that. Oh, look at that! The switch is right there. How lucky is that? They do we need a treasure room? Okay, we gotta look for the prison. Where's the prison? At? Oh, those spiders, even though they can't really hit you, they can kind of in some ways remake these webs. So they'll, what they do is they'll put webs on these, these entrances just to slow you down. Like this, right? Cause these are all arrows we've been through. So what it does is it kind of slows you down in some ways when you're, let's say if you're getting chased by the zealots or whatever like that. Yeah. That's what it is pretty much for. The good thing is like, you know, once you have the, you know, the relic and whatnot, it's, you won't, you won't see the zealots anymore. That's the good thing about that. We're now we're trying to find, oh crap, I don't want to deal with him right now. He turned around. I don't find that prison. Oh, he's over there. I mean, it seems like we went through all these areas already. Yeah, see that's the so look look how look how skinny that walkway is. It's just good enough for us to walk, right? But when you're walking like this, because you can't see your feet. That's that's what makes it hard too. So now <coughs> when I was trying to play around with this part, if you look at this angle, it looks like it's aligned to the lines of this, of the stones, but it's not. It's actually right here either here or like right here or if you see my reticle so now you have to adjust every single time you go all the way through here to get the gold and then now it's like you know great you an ass why you gotta be a douche man you know can't can't you see i'm trying to like look for st something you want to be a douche i went the wrong way We're gonna try not to trigger his whistle, so let's kind of get out a little bit. If that works, would be good. Always remember, because of the new update, your your amulet has charges now. So don't forget, it charges kind of goes off of uh, your upgrade level. If you go up to level five, you only have five charges, so it's kind of like. Um, and just be watchful. Where's this prison? Though? I don't really want to just kind of, um, Just let him follow me because I know we still gotta take his picture, but you know, we're still looking for the um looking for the prison, so yeah. 
or is there? It's kind of like we just need the expiration. So... Like I said, I'm still learning the brand new map too, so... If there is a body or a skeleton, then hey, maybe that would count as expirations, maybe. But I don't know, I haven't seen one. Because I know for a fact we went through, hey, look, we went through like 95% of the ruins already. <laughs> I mean, they didn't come across nothing. I didn't come across any switches too, so. Is this an expira expiration? I, I doubt it, but let's see. Nope. Not one. What could count as an expiration? I went here. What could count? I wonder... That dark room, is there, you think there's a body down there? Please don't have one down there. Because if it's like, if it's tucked in in a corner right by where the, the gold is, yeah, that's kind of messed up. So now it's kind of forcing us to go in there and do it. Which, ooh, that would be really bad for us. So let's go check it out, let's see. There's a body down there. Oops, I went the wrong way. Yep, I did. Oops. Wrong way. I know it's kind of right next to the relic door, so I think it's this way. Oh, great. Hello again. Okay, relic door. Maybe we should just go back up and so he doesn't chase us all around. Oh, there is a body. Shucks. I see a body down there, but I don't know if it's far enough. So let's disperse first. Just check. Yeah, it didn't. It didn't take it. Reset him. You can't come up here, dude. I don't know what you're trying to do, sir. Get your ass back down there. Get your ass back down there. I don't know what you're trying to prove. Ain't you supposed to disengage? Huh? What's wrong with you? Mm-hmm. I see you, sir. Yeah, we gotta get back there. So there is a body down there. It's just, we just gotta get back to it again. Hopefully he doesn't bump into me again. Okay, so there's the relic room. So go straight. Ah, oh, damn it, he's blocking it. Let's go this way. What? How the hell you aggroed me? You cheater. You wasn't even in those same room as me. You punk. What a punk. Go, go, go. Come on, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, we're still learning this new map. Can you like let us, can you let us explore and, so irritating Ufris. Get in there, get in your cubby hole, there. So the body's actually, I went the wrong way. 
okay here the body is right over there you see it but i don't think i can from this distance i don't know it's it's not letting me do it see how close i can get to the edge Why is my torch in this picture? Hmm. There's gotta be a decent angle for me to still get a picture of it. Maybe here? No? Oh man, it's so iffy. Oh. It's probably like right here. Ah, uh, I hate to do it. Can't see it from here. And it's a half. It's a half tap. So. If you go full, like a full step way, if you can kind of feel it, like you go full step, you're going to hit this thing. So <laughs> over here, it looks like it's going middle. It's not. It's actually going right here where my reticle is. So you can actually walk this edge and not get hit. So you should be able to take this picture now. There you go. Now it's up to you if you want to get that because I'm telling you I'm not going to get that. <laughs> I'm not getting that thing, dude. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm not. Oh, shit. He's coming here again. This is until he beats it, because I know he's just going to be a punk. Yeah, that's right. Turn around. Ooh. go okay well at least we know um we tried the different angles from the the beginning part of course that didn't work so at least we know that if we're not gonna engage in getting that goal um, we just gotta go through the what the three four darts in order to get the the closer angle to get it so yeah good to know guys well at least we at least we know where the explorer would be eh? one of uh, I'm, I'm thinking one of the explorer area but if not that will be the only place uh for the new map layout so yeah that's so really really good to know really good just write that down like I said, it's all learning. We're all trying to learn the new map layout and whatnot. So, um, but yeah, that thing is super hard, man. I'm telling you, really hard. Like I said, a lot of it is because of the. Just a side step angle. Like I said, you guys, your character naturally kind of angles it both when you're trying to sidestep. And we can't see our feet, so we can't really align ourselves properly. And that's what makes it hard in there. Because you can actually dodge the darts. It's just... Um, it's just... The only bad part is falling. Because a lot of times when I die, it's I fall. Because I can't really, <laughs> I can't really um, align myself properly when I sidestep. So sometimes I would slip. So, I mean, if they're not gonna, if they're not gonna widen that area, then at least show our feet. <laughs> we can't even see our feet. Like we're floating. We're floating with um, with the sound effects 
on. <laughs> Wait, what do we have anyways? Okay, we got one more though, 94% remains. Okay, simple. Simple. Hmm. So this game kind of kind of veers more towards the torch now as your you know your main item so so if you let's say if you do end up prestiging oh shit it's a red card make sure that your torch is max because yeah you want that thing to last as long as you as long as you can so it kind of sucks that you Let's say if you are being chased by a zealot and all of a sudden it just goes, you know, it just goes off. That would be the shadiest situation to be in because now you pretty much can get hit. You, you probably could get hit probably once until you get that thing relighted. Because one, he runs pretty fast. Two, he swings pretty fast. So, yeah, it's kind of like irritating in some ways. Mm-hmm. Sometimes when they do spawn like that, um and even if they don't see you, they're still running around the place, so always always look behind your back all the time because they will eventually come at you. They'll 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 find you. I always get jump scared by these guys so many times now. It's like it's crazy. Stop it. wasn't a good idea I started treating them just like the reanimation mummies that's really not a good idea don't do that not a good idea you guys see it firsthand right there not a good idea Eat it. We've been there. <clears throat> oh! Son of a gun. Oh. You an ass. Okay, lower page might be inside the relic room, so we might as well just do our... Where are you? Oh, he's out. We got that one. Shadow. Ooh. Why? 
why why shadow oh well no choice my nemesis has returned wait where was the door again <laughs> probably forgot where the door is uh oh it's not there not there Wait a minute. It has to be right. Oh, it's through here, right? Oh yeah, it is. Keep forgetting. This one's gonna be hard because we do have that a trap room right there blocking our way, especially we're looking out just to get out. Don't be a punk. Be good. I was like, don't be a punk and freaking. Trap us in there or something. He does sometimes. Blocking us? No, he's on. He was. Where are you? Let's go through this. Oh, you. He's right in front of us. What an ass. the lever where are you there you are shucks he's right there oh you dumb snake holy crap dude Sound of a gun! Oh, I was trying to dodge him away. Ah! Damn it. <laughs> I was trying my best to sidestep away from him, but I was kind of trapped already at that point. You know, the snake, he went out, and then he turned around, he came back, and went straight for me after that. I was like, what? What a crappy way to die. Wow. See? I only got 149 lures. If we made it through like that. Oh well. Alright guys, so that would be it for uh this episode. Um hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um good thing is, like I said, we did find out some you know, as as far as the map the new map layout, um at least now we know where the the past exploration objective which is the body or the skeleton body um is located so usually it's in the dart room so if we do end up finding another location then we'll kind of you know spread the word uh through our episode and whatnot so we'll we'll continue to uh get familiar with the new map layout 
um we'll probably be like i said we'll probably be doing a video on the lures once we finish doing that so we'll do the 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 next well, 50 lures as far as re the reveal together so i won't unlock it until we do the video so we'll kind of at least witness it together if you don't mind about the spoilers um on the origins on the zealots basically that's the 50 lords it's just the the zealots like how they came to be and why you know they're the guardians of the magi um what else a couple things oh yeah and then we'll do another video video once we get more familiar on the new map layout we'll do a video on how to navigate through it i, I kind of have a clear mind um on pretty much how to navigate through it just gotta do a little bit more runs to kind of make sure uh but yeah so stay tuned for more of that uh, if you want to enjoy more of a longer stream um we do have our live streams on forewarn faz you know we, we started our um our session with the seven days to die on alpha 20. Um, we'll be doing a seven, seven days to die a YouTube series um, soon. Um, it's going to be separate from the streaming one. So the live stream is more on a community base. So basically those are like, you know, if you uh, enjoy survivor, zombie survivor games, you know, seven days to die is like always one of my favorites from a long time ago. Um, that's kind of like more of a community based save that, you know, I have on the live stream. So usually it's like, you know, if, if you want to play the game with me, you know, you get everyone's always welcome to. I think I think I'm only up to 16 players I could actually fit in there. So um, but like I said, we'll we'll start a brand new separate series just for the YouTube one. And then we'll just kind of go from there. Uh other upcoming gaming series that I do want to add to the YouTube um area would be Dying Light 2, which is I'm actually like, super excited for. Can't wait for that. Uh as always, I'm a huge zombie fan on a lot of the hardcore games. You know, Dying Light was an another favorite of mine as well. So that one I've been waiting for so long, and thank God it's almost there. So hopefully no delays, please. Um, it comes out on February of this year. Um, but that will be an another new addition. We still have to finish our um Noble Light gaming series, which I'm thinking we're halfway there, I think. So that one we need to finish that one up already. So I think we meet, we might have to end up um doing a, a video continuation on the episode where we left off. It's uh story driven, so um so hopefully we can finish that one up before Dying Light 2 comes out. So at least we can kinda you know concentrate on that. All right, guys, so well, those are some of the recaps and announcements I would kind of like to say. Don't forget, guys, there's, there'll be links down below. So, if, you know, my um, YouTube channel to the forewarn playlist. And, of course, I'll, I'll drop a link for the actual um, huge update on forewarn's discussion. So you guys can easily just click on it and, you know, take a look. Um, don't forget um, my Twitch. It's basically twitch.tv slash darkser from 808 um you pretty much uh you know follow me on that one just to know when i do come on and then my twitter as well you know go ahead and check that out do a follow that's where usually i do a lot of my announcements as well just to keep you guys informed all right guys so hopefully you guys enjoy yourself like i said the weekend is here you know be safe have fun and be safe in the same time so anyways guys aloha is from hawaii until then see you guys in the next live stream or the next video see you guys